Hi, we are members of the Smart Pill Bottle Startup Campaign. In this presentation, we will demonstrate the problem our Smart Pill Bottle addresses, how it works, and the financial statistics of our company. The problem. Every day, around 130 people die in the United States from overdosing on opioids. 21 to 29% of patients prescribed opioids misuse their prescriptions. In addition to these staggering numbers, the United Healthcare Insurance Company alone covers 77,000 overdoses every year. Drug overdose is the leading cause of accidental death in the United States. The graph to the right illustrates the rising number of opioid-related deaths since the early 2000s. The chart below indicates that 50% of people who misuse their prescription opioids attain them through a friend or relative for free, and 22% attain them from a doctor. There is no question that prescription drug abuse is a problem within the United States. To combat this dilemma, we have come up with the Smart Pill Bottle. The Solution So what is the Smart Pill Bottle, and how exactly does it work? Similar to an iPhone that is unlocked with your fingerprint, the Smart Pill Bottle is a prescription bottle that is enhanced with a fingerprint scanner on top of the pill dispenser. This tamper-proof pill bottle prevents prescribed patients, along with relatives and friends, from attempting to abuse their prescriptions. So how does it work? The Smart Pill Bottle is equipped with an emergency button that will dispense an emergency dose for dire situations. All activities of the pill bottle are recorded with smart technology and data is sent to prescribers on a routine basis. It will dispense the prescribed amount when the patient uses their fingerprint so that the medication cannot be abused by the user. So what's our competition? We founded Here Tech and Pillsy to be competitors because they are technology-based pill bottles as well as our own. Both products set reminders in order to prevent missed doses and act as personal assistance to the patient. Adhere Tech is also connected to the provider office, similar to our own product. Our product presents the fingerprint feature. Although it will be more costly, it will help solve the problem of prescription drug abuse more effectively. Count It, Lock It, Drop It is an initiative in Tennessee that attempts to prevent patients from becoming addicted to prescription opioids in the first place. This is similar because we have the same end goal but they have no physical product and they simply advertise by word of mouth. Our customer segments. We found that prescription drug abuse is common for all ages, but most prominent in ages 25 to 55. The second graph shows us that this is because older adults are prescribed more drugs than their younger counterparts. We are looking to target the insurance companies in order to get the product mandated by their companies in the market and into eventually the pharmacies. We spoke to Randall Weinstock, the CFO of United Healthcare, and he expressed that the idea is promising and it is possible to warrant it. Our revenue models. An opioid prescription on average, co on average costs $120 to $130 per month. In Pennsylvania, there are roughly 87 opioid prescriptions per 100 people. Our Smart Pill bottle's market price will be $65. We arrived at this number using the Keystone strategy, which essentially doubles our wholesale costs. It will be paid for by the patient as a deposit, as recommended by the CFO we spoke to. Our financials. We will have a high initial cost in order to produce this bottle. The amount the insurance companies and consumers pay will bring in the revenue to cover those costs at a later date. We believe that our highest costs will come from research and development of the initial product. Our total monthly production costs will average around $100,000, but we are hopeful that revenues will average around $198,000. Our initial rollout. We hope that our, to start our product in State College and advocate that all insurance companies in the area will mandate it. Since we have to talk to a lot of people, this will take us about a year or so. After that, we want to focus on Center County as a whole and all insurance companies there, and again, we will need time to make this happen. The last part of our rollout strategy is to target all of Pennsylvania and its insurance companies. So thank you for your time today. We hope you will consider funding this product to combat the rising problem of prescription drug abuse.